We're here today for the unveiling of the Charlton Heston Forever stamp, and I'm just so, so excited and proud to be part of paying tribute to somebody who was a true legend of Hollywood and a great human being far beyond it as well. No matter how long it was between the time he saw you, always remembered your name, and he treated everybody on set like they were the most important people there for the movie. Really, from the moment Charlton Heston was paid, because there were a couple of non-paying gigs first, but from the moment he was paid to be an actor in William Dieterle's 1950 film noir, Dark City, he was a movie star. Charlton Heston was a dedicated Guild president. He was humbled by his election, admitted the role was a daunting one in his first speech as president. He told his fellow members that to serve in this position is an honor first, and most importantly, a job. He said, and I quote, actors have only recently become respectable. I think that the Guild and its sister unions in the performing arts can claim some of the credit for this. A year into his presidency, he said of the position, I sought the job as president of this union because I have received so much from my profession. I see the job as a sort of public service through which I might help repay others in the profession which has been so good to me. Charlton Heston volunteered his leadership at the height of his fame. He had just won the Academy Award as best actor. No one would have batted an eyelash if he had simply steered clear of union politics and claimed that he was just too busy with his very busy career. But that wouldn't have been Charlton Heston. He fought for what he valued. Postal Service hopes everyone will use the new Charlton Heston stamp. Put it on all your correspondence, send it around your community and around the country. Let it serve as a small reminder of one of the biggest stars Hollywood has ever known. A great actor who specialized in larger than life roles and whose contributions went beyond the big screen. Thank you. Dad saw himself as a shy kid from the backwoods of Michigan who liked to wear tights and funny noses and wave swords around while speaking in strange accents. He often said he was astonished that the people actually paid him to pretend to be other people and that he'd do it for nothing if someone would feed his family. I'm glad the word didn't get out on that, Dad. As it turns out, he was not an Old Testament prophet a charioteer, a saint, a genius, a cowboy, a Spanish knight, an English king, a president, or an astronaut. He only played those people. What he was, was a warm, loving husband, father, and grandfather. A passionate artist, a committed labor leader, and an unabashedly patriotic American, with a deep and abiding sense of civic duty. It's gotta be pretty rare that an organization can feature three of its former presidents, in our case, uh, James Cagney, Ronald Reagan, and now Charlton Heston, who uh, are given the rare honor of a commemorative stamp. I think that great men never know how great they are. Today was really about honoring, uh, honoring the man who also uh, represented our union. <laughs> 